today's technology video is about the arsenal of tools that you have as a realtor. Here is my $2,000 laptop of which I did not get an extended warranty and the day after the year birthday my hard drive went south. So I myself personally replaced the hard drive in my laptop. Spent hours figuring out how to do that. And then my motherboard went south and so this beautiful $2,000 laptop is a dinner tray for me now. And I had to go get another laptop of which I bought a five-year warranty so that I never have to fix a laptop again myself. Now here is the laptop that I replaced the new dinner tray with. It has a five-year warranty and I will tell you I do love this uh, laptop. I um, have been using it for almost two years now with no problems. It does have a five-year extended warranty uh, just in case, but it really has performed well for me, and I am so glad that the other sleek-looking fancy one is out of my life, and I have this new, beautiful, and actually functional working laptop. Now, I carry this around sometimes to show big screen property. I've got a special program on here that has special aerials that I can take when we're out looking at properties to help figure out where the boundaries are and stuff like that. On top of that is your typical office computer that every agent has to have. And here's something I highly recommend. Here is my external hard drive. This puppy was about $60. It's 360 gigabytes, and you can just toss all kinds of video and pictures and large amounts of data on that and get a lot of bang for your buck. So I love this computer. This computer has lasted me many, many years and has never given me any problems either. I did have one little problem, and because of the coverage I have on this, the fella came out and fixed it in two minutes. So those are your typical basic tools. You've got to have your laptop. You've got to have your computer that you use. In addition, again, is the hard drive. That was a great thing to toss in there to handle tons of data. Now, coming over here, what I have is some of the crazy stuff I have to have as a realtor. So, coming a little closer, I have my iPhone. This thing is incredible. This is a computer in your hand. So, I'm sitting in an airport, and I'm doing a ton of work, and the time goes by like it's nothing. You can answer emails. You can delete emails. You can get on the Internet and pay bills. You can get on the Internet and do real estate research. You can answer your real estate emails. This has changed my life. I'm always 100%, 24-7 plugged in. But the one thing that you got to have with the iPhone or any data phone is you get a good case to cover it because this puppy looks brand new inside, but as you can see outside, not so good. And it comes with its very own uh, USB cord for syncing and plug. Don't lose this. If you do, they're like 30 bucks. So don't lose your cord or let your cats chew on it. It also comes with earphones because the iPhone is also an iPod. And so you can toss music on there and work out in the yard or whatever. Or go ski or whatever you like to use iPods for. You can now do it with your iPhone. Now, coming over here, we have a lot of stuff. And what it is, is this is the power cord for my camera. It's battery. These are the lens cleaning filters. Here is a set of filters for one of the lenses I have. Here is a lens that goes from 24 millimeters to 70. That's my uh, mid-range. Here is my zoom lens for grabbing the pictures of the mountains up close when you're standing in the yard so they don't look like little specks. You can see how they look uh, more realistically when you're at the property than if you um, just try to snap a picture with, say, this kind of a lens, this mid-range. And then this attached to my camera is my Sigma lens, 
which I use for the bathroom because the bathroom is a very small room and when you have the wide angle lens you really get quite a good sense of the room. This particular lens is really really kicked up my uh, picture taking arsenal because I get such good photos of small rooms now and I get panoramic views that are just killer as long as the mountains are close enough and you can see them. Otherwise, once again, I use my zoom lens, which really goes to 300 millimeters from 70. So I have quite the arsenal of lenses. And alongside the Sigma wide angle lens, it had to have its own set of lenses because it has a different lens size. So I've got the lenses for that lens, the filter lenses. Then I have my little table tripod and out in the car, I have my stand in the yard tripod. So there's a lot to having good camera equipment. It's critical when you are a realtor if you want to do a good job. And this is my card reader to get the pictures off the camera because I lost the other cord that I used to do that with. Okay. And the final gadgetry that is needed when you are a realtor are the key box. Oops, the key box. This is the key box and the key that gets you into homes. And this is a cool thing that came on the scene here because we're members of the Northwest Multiple and they require very high standards for their members. And this electronically records everything that's happening in your house in regards to showings. Any realtor that's in the Northwest Multiple has a key. They take it and they shoot it in here and the key drops out and you know what time they went in the house and which agent went there. Now, some agents aren't members of the Northwest Multiple or they are members but they don't want to, they don't have a key. These are kind of pricey. This key right here cost me, I think, 130 a year. And this, each key box I put on your house is $100. So, because it's pretty high tech. Um, equipment. This all gets fed digitally back to the internet and we know what's going on. And so some agents have to come and get a key but then that is documented that the key is taken and I personally don't know any agents um, that I've ever had problems with with showings. They're all very honorable as far as not taking anything out of the house and leaving the house locked in appropriate fashion after they've um, you know visited. So, there is all the stuff that I take with me when I do camera photo stuff for your um, listings. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of equipment here. And then the flip camera, what I'm using right now to take this video, is my newest piece of equipment, which I'm trying to learn how to use. I'm zooming out now. Now I'm going to zoom in. And that is the arsenal of tools that I use to help me in my real estate business. It's been fabulous.